Hello, friends. Jim Nance, Bill Sims. We've got an unbeaten down on that field today. Yeah, and the other team can't wait to put that first loss in that other column form, so it should be exciting. Let's check in down on the sidelines with Danielle Bellini. I spoke with head coach Mike Smith this week. The win streak his team is on is absolutely incredible, guys. He told me that this team is one of the most hardworking groups he has ever been around. He says his team brings their lunch pails to work every day and it's translated to the field on Sundays. As long as his team stays focused, he sees no reason they can't make a serious run at the Super Bowl. Thanks, Danielle, and now we'll go to the field. The Bills are ready to return the kickoff. Gets out past the 20 and brought down at the 24. Manuels, the man in charge of the offense here today. Well, E.G. Manuel played at Florida State in Cup. How about that switch? Now up in Buffalo, this weather, can he deal with it? He is big and strong, can run. We'll see how E.J. Manuel does. Flip round, flip round. First and 10, will run it. Here's the handoff. Breaks free, has some space to work with. Watching C.J. Spill is like watching a video game. He is so quick and fast. Beautiful job that time, picking up big yards on the run. First and 10. He's looking to the right here on this throw. Dragged to the ground. Looks like he's still about a yard short of the first. Here's the Bills lineup. Their passing attack this year has been one of the worst in the league. So they complete that one, yet it's still second down. They'll call on the services of C.J. Spiller. Now they take the football onto the opponent's side of the field. And that's the type of run I think this offense would take all game long, Phil. Oh, would they ever. They would love this. This is, this is showing your dominance here. The offensive line doing a good job, but also a solid job by the running back picking up some good yards. This is a route that's not run enough in the NFL, the corner route. So many times, receivers just go across the field, they go short. But when you make these double moves like that, you get wide open, and what a throw by the quarterback. That reception gave them the first down. Jackson straight ahead. Here's how the Falcons defense. They are all around perhaps the best defensive unit in the entire league. The Bills at the line of scrimmage, split backfield. Second down and eight. Fred Jackson gets the handoff, gains five. Now third and four following the run. Throwing now to his left, he makes the catch. You can throw an out route like that. That shows you the strength of the quarterback's arm. The offense is set at the line for the first down after that completion. The quarterback will hand it off up ahead for about four. That was a running play that time by the offense. It picked up some good yards. Nothing like it. Show the defense you're willing to get in there and slug it out and get some tough running yards. Second and goal from the six. Throws to the right. Inaccurate with that one. Now well, that pass is incomplete, Jim, but that's just a terrible job by the quarterback. When they're running the slant route, just throw it right at their stomach. Plenty of defensive backs out on the field for this one. Third and goal at the six. Over the line. Touchdown. Oh, what a good job there by the offense. Third and goal. And what do they do? They run the football against the defense. And nice job getting the touchdown. Inside of the uprights. Bills ready to 
boot this one down the field. Better judgment says, take a knee. Davis going to march on to the field, having already this season found the end zone over 20 times with his passes. The Bills with a nickel look here on defense. First down and 10. Scrambling out of the pocket. Just couldn't get his feet down on that catch. Here's our look at the Falcons lineup. Their passing numbers on the year are just dreadful. This starting lineup is brought to you by Snickers. When hunger hits, Snickers satisfies. We're going to take off with it. Looking to the right side and throwing. It was right there, but he didn't bring it in. Now a look at the Bills lineup on defense. They've given up a lot of passing yards this season, so they'll need to try and keep the offense in check today. They come to the line on third down. They did an excellent job of executing in these spots last week. Gets away from the pressure, looking for an open receiver on the right. Picks up 20. Fifteen minutes down, 45 minutes to go. And we'll return after this message and a word from your local station. That long gain sets them up here on this play. Jackson's taking the handoff. Well, a short gain on the run that time by the offense. When you're running football team, listen, there's going to be a lot of ugly plays that don't work. You just got to keep running it. Second down coming up. Running away from the pressure, challenging the defenders to the right side, and they advance the ball onto the other side of the field. Well, in the NFL, they can't always block those defensive linemen. Good job bedtime by the quarterback, avoiding the rush, getting outside the pocket, and a beautiful throw on the run. First and 10, play action fake, looking to throw. Going for the deep ball. Oh, bad decision that time by the quarterback. He tries to force the football into the end zone and then almost gets picked off by the defense. The offense heads to the line for the seventh play of the drive. Second and ten. He's looking to the right here on this throw. Good piece of tackle. What a nice catch by the receiver. Getting past the yard markers, makes the catch and gets the first down. Mike Smith and the Falcons were the number one seed for the NFC in the playoffs last year. They got past the first round of the playoffs. In fact, almost were able to get over the hump to go all the way to the Super Bowl. I mean, come on, Jim, let's think about it. What a job Mike Smith has done down the land. It just goes unnoticed. Winning all the football games they have won since he's been, been the head coach. And last year, they did make another step up. Their offense got more dynamic. Let's don't forget Mike Smith at one time coached at Moorhead State. Not that that had anything to do with him, but it didn't hurt him. But I look for the Falcons a lot with his leadership to get just a little bit better, and they are going to be a Super Bowl threat. Marching down the field and taking their time. Hand off. And that picks up only one. First down by the offense inside the red zone. Can the defense show them something different here? and keep him from scoring a touchdown. This will be the 11th play of the drive. Davis is back in shotgun formation. The defense gets the sack. This long drive continues. Second and 22. Play fake here. He's scrambling now. Right where it had to be. This doesn't look good. We've got a player down, and he's in pain. That's a good job. He's able to get up and get off the field, and my guess is he's going to be okay. A little bit of a scare there, no doubt about it. He's got the touchdown. Well, that score ties the game up. Now on the defensive side, you got to come out there and take advantage of this, this feeling you got going now and get the football back for your offense. Driving extra point is good. 
The Bills ready to return the kick. Will they take any chances here before halftime after this game was just tied? Scores 7-7. Seven to seven. That'll be a touchback, and the ball will be placed at the 20. Danielle's got an injury update for us. Let's go to her now. Guys, I just spoke with a Falcons official. Julio Jones' injury seems to be relatively minor, or at least it's minor enough that he'll be back on the field shortly. First and 10, the throw to the left. Steve Johnson hauls it in. That was a nice job by the offense. It just puts him in a better position. Nice little throw and catch. They've come out in the dime package. Second and four. He'll throw it over the middle. Asante Samuel has his hands on it. And that will close out the first half from Western New York. And we'll take a short break for halftime before returning for the third quarter. The Falcons in kick return formation. right at the 30-yard line after that return. Offense lines up here. Play action. Escaping the pressure. He's going deep. It's incomplete. The defender had it for a moment, but could not pick it off cleanly. Well, for some reason, this quarterback likes to keep trying to go deep down the field against this cover, too. That's not the spot you want to go. You want to look underneath or right down the middle. Third down now. Play action. Escaping the pressure, throws to the right. He is tackled at the 40-yard line. Every quarterback in the NFL loves this coverage where you got four defensive backs all playing deep. So in routes, anything across the middle, usually it's wide open. Good job of the quarterback taking advantage of the defense that time. Now the play is there to be made, but the offensive player doesn't get it done. Bad job on first down. The Bills' defense now is going to go nickel. Second and 11. In trouble now. It's away from the stack. When you're on the defensive side, you just cannot lose containment even on a quarterback. That time they pressure him in the pocket. He takes out. There's no containment on the outside. He gets out there. Nobody open to throw it to. So he just picks up some big yards running the ball. What a job by the offensive line that time. This running back hit the hole at full speed, and the defense had very little time to react. And that's how he got in the secondary, made a couple guys miss, and gets down there and gets a long run. I know you won't believe this, but sometimes completing a short pass like that does give a quarterback confidence, so it does serve a purpose. This will be second down. Gets away from the pressure. Trying to work that left side. Running play went for 11. You talk about controlling the flow of the game. Another first down, and the drive keeps on going. Yeah, why not? The defense, they're just sitting over there. They're taking the hits and not even fighting back. Ah, this is a terrible job by the defense. Good job by the defense. They are all over the throw by the quarterback. They almost pick it off in the end zone. Well, that's a big opportunity missed when you drop a pass like that. And Davis is lined up in the slot. On the run, swatted away. That's just an awesome job by the offensive line. They break down almost immediately, but a nice job by the quarterback. Able to get outside the pocket and keep the play alive. Drop back, shotgun formation. Looking for a receiver on the left side here. That's not good timing between the receiver and the quarterback. The quarterback that time throws it too quick and too far in front. 
to the wide receiver on the slant route. Offense lines up here. Davis got it in the gun. Looking to scramble, looking to the right side and throwing. Julio Jones with the grab. Here comes the training staff as we've got a player down on the field. I think you can just tell by the body language and the way he's acting, that is an upper body injury. Hope it's not severe. We'll let you know as soon as we find out. First and goal. Jackson goes to the left with the three. Well, that last play almost got him in here. And when you look at this, what do they do? Well, you just want to punch it in. There's a lot of, a lot of different scenarios. You could do a play action fake, probably get somebody wide open, or have a running back just jump over the top for the touchdown. And runs it across. Touchdown. Good job that time by the offense, scoring that touchdown and putting him ahead. And when you get ahead in a football game, the National Football League, it makes you relax and you play better. Falcons now will tack on the extra point. The point after is good. Falcons getting ready to kick it off. And a touchback. First down coming up. C.J. Spiller. They deck him in the backfield. Let's get the injury report from Danielle Bellini. Guys, I had a chance to speak with a Falcons team official. Julio Jones' injury has been diagnosed as an abdominal tear. Trainers went through some tests with him, and now he'll go for an MRI. Spillers in the backfield, single back set. Second down and 11, C.J. Spiller. The quarterback realizes time is a factor. They need to put some points on the board. Here is the first snap of the final quarter. That's a good tackle, and that's a quick three and out. They're set to punt it away now. He wants to return this one. And tackled down at the 43-yard line. The defense needs a big stop here in order to give the offense a chance as we're running low on time in this one. And Gonzalez is there with the sure hands to pull in the rocket pass. That's a nice play that time by the offense, getting the first down. They're up here in the second half, and they're moving the football. That's a great feeling. Back to the air here on first down. Getting away from the pressure. Catch is made, and that's a gain of maybe five. Sometimes it's good protection by the offensive line, and sometimes it's just bad defense. They can't get to the quarterback. And that's another completion by him. Leading and with possession of the football, a good place to be at this point in the game. And they can't connect. Two minutes to go in the second half. Well, they go for the bomb, but the defensive backfield was not fooled. Yeah, they were all over at that time. And they just, that was like shadow defense. Wherever the receiver was going, the defense was right next to him. Great job. That catch, good for a first down. Another third down conversion. The offense continues to come through in the clutch. 
Now, the next snap from inside the red zone, where a week ago they starred as a team. Davis standing back in the shotgun, ready for the snap. Five, maybe six out of them, and they're going to call a timeout here to stop the clock. Let's round, let's Coming up, second down. Will go Brown. He's brought to a halt. They call for the timeout to stop the clock. Defense ready in the goal line formation on this one. And he's in. I'd say this run by the offense is just it's arrogance. They just say, you can't stop us. And they lined up and just shoved it down the defense's throat. Nice run there on first and goal for the touchdown. The Bills are ready to return the kickoff. That's a touchback. The ball will be spotted at the 20. Graham's lined up now as a slot receiver. First and 10. Looks to his left. And the pass is intercepted. It's going the other way in this game. It's a touchdown. What an interception by the defense. And not only that, look at that return. They intercept the ball on one side of the field, make a long interception return for a touchdown. That's how you win football games on the defensive side. And he's taken down right at about the 29, not quite to the 30. It's first down as they head to the line. He had no time to get set. Nickel formation here for the defense. Second and 10. He'll fire it out to the left. Oh, the, we've got an injured player on the field. Always hard to guess what the injury is, but and don't like to speculate, but I think it's pretty apparent. It's an upper body injury. We'll let you know when we find out. Third and six. That pass play puts up a first down. The pass is going to be made, but he's beyond the first down marker. When you pick up first downs against the defense, they will get tired. That time, nice job by the offense getting the first down, even though they're losing here in the game. Well, he dropped the football, and there's no doubt why he dropped it. You have to look it in. The defense comes out in the nickel. Here it's a second and 10. They're going to get him this time. This satisfying defensive replay is brought to you by Snickers. Snickers satisfies. Looking for an open receiver on the right. And the pass pass down incomplete. Jim, when you get in these situations, there's not much you can do. Third long, not easy to pick up first downs in these type of situations. Oh, a little sloppy here, and the ball is muffed. Tackles made. Oh, that was close, wasn't it? The return team, they don't block anybody, but very fortunate to recover their own fumble. The defense comes out in the nickel. Takes the knee.
One more play, and it's in the books. Second down and 12. Quarterback drops back, play action. Loads it up, it's going deep. And almost picked off. That's it, this game is over. How much sweeter is practice gonna be this week after the win on that sideline? Once you win, practice is easier because your confidence is high. You feel good about what you've done from the previous week because you won. So I think it always gives you a better chance of winning the following week because you feel so good when you're out there in that practice field. It's nice when you get down near the goal line, Jim, and you can run it in for a touchdown. That's why we're going to call this the play of the game. It showed a lot of toughness. For Bill Sims and all the crew, Jim Nance saying so long.